Have you been thinking about making a move to the Seattle area, but you don't want to be right in the city of Seattle and you're looking just a bit further north in the Everett, Washington area? Well, in today's video, I'm going over all about Everett, Washington and what it's like to live there. So stay tuned. What's up, you guys? I'm Bryce Greenleaf. I'm a local real estate broker here in the greater Seattle area, and I love making videos all about moving to this area and what it's like living in the greater Seattle area, not just the city of Seattle, but all of our amazing surrounding suburbs we have in this greater metro area. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell so you get notified whenever I make a new video. And I love helping you guys out. Those of you that are moving here from out of state or if you're already in state and you're just looking to buy or sell a home, I love help helping you guys out. And if you're moving from out of the area and you want some more information on what it's like to live here, you have certain questions that you need answered, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'd be more than happy to help. My info is here on the screen. You can call, text, or shoot me an email. And I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. And like I said, if you're looking to buy a home in this area, I'd be more than happy to kind of guide you through that process and figure out what the best area might be for you and your specific situation. But without further ado, like I said, in today's video, we're going to talk about Everett, Washington and what it's like to live here. So Everett is about 30 miles north of Seattle. So if you are working right in Seattle and you're looking for somewhere that's in commuting distance, Everett is going to kind of be on that boundary. I know plenty of people that, that uh, live in Everett and they work in Seattle and they make that commute. It's not going to be an easy commute. It's about a 30 minute drive without traffic, so that's not too bad. But once you hit the rush hour traffic times, it's going to be about 45. Uh, to an hour in order to get to and from Seattle in those really heavy traffic times. Like I said, there are a lot of people that live in Everett and still work in Seattle and make that commute. But if you go much further than Everett and try to make that commute, it's gonna get worse and worse. And that's really starting to stretch it. However, there's still plenty of people that live in Everett and they don't need to work in Seattle. So Everett can be a great spot for them because their work location is even closer. Now Everett has a population just over 112,000. It's the largest city to the north side of Seattle here in Western Washington. It's it's got a, a downtown area, nothing like the downtown area of Seattle, not anywhere near that big, but it is the one city up here north of Seattle with a, a larger downtown area. Now in terms of home prices and kind of what you can expect over here, the median home price right now just this past May of 2021 was 613000 Now that's gone up almost $100,000 in median home value in just over six months. So it's growing really, really rapidly over here like most of the suburbs on the outside of Seattle are. They're just growing at insane rates because of people moving from out of this area and people get just getting out of Seattle that are living directly in Seattle and going to a, a surrounding suburb. So a lot of these suburbs are just growing at a pretty insane rates right now. Now the one thing about Everett is it is a little bit different from a lot of the cities around here whereas you've got multiple different pockets that give you a, a much different feel. I mean, you can be in the downtown Everett area uh, that has a lot of older 1920s-ish homes, uh, and you can go to the south side of Everett or even further north side of Everett where there's some new construction going on and some newer homes and some single level homes and multifamilies and condos. There's, there's really every type of real estate available here in Everett. So it makes that pricing vary quite a bit. You can still find a home you know, in the in the Everett area for about 550 to 600. Like I said, 613 is the median price right now. So it's getting harder and harder to find something under 600, but it is still possible in the high 500s. And then there's plenty, you know, homes on the waterfront that you could be spending over a million if you wanted to. So I've got the map pulled up here and I wanna just walk you through uh, the city of Everett, kind of show you some different pockets and some different things that you should be aware of if you're gonna move to this area. So let's jump into the map here. All right, so as you can see, we've got Everett right here in the middle. Uh, we've got Marysville to the north side. We've got Lake Stevens directly to the east and then to the west, you've got the Puget Sound. So it's absolutely beautiful to be here in Everett. So let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's just start on the north side and kind of give you an idea of what to expect if you're living up in this area. So this is an area like I was talking about that has a lot of older homes. You can find a ton of craftsman style homes, you know, 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s homes uh, that uh, have a lot of character to them. But, uh, you know, you have a very... Uh, there's just a lot of different things to look at in those homes. There's some that are you know, completely outdated and, and need to be gone through new plumbing and electrical, things like that. And there's been some that have been completely remodeled, modernized, but still have that old character. So this is a very unique area. And this is where the pricing is gonna be 
a little bit cheaper than the rest of Everett. Not a drastic amount cheaper, but definitely a little bit cheaper just because it is so close to the downtown area. And with a downtown area, you've got all your, you know, different issues that come with that, like homelessness and some drug use and things like that. So that's something to be aware of in Everett. But right up here is the main hospital in Everett, Providence Regional Medical Center. Um, that's We live relatively close, so we've been there a couple of times. A decent hospital that's going to really be your closest option if you're right up here in the north area. And then you've got Everett Community College right up here as well. A nice thing about Everett is you are kind of surrounded by water on both sides. Uh, we can talk about the Puget Sound on the west side in a little bit, but on the, the east side here, you've got the Snohomish River that runs through Everett. Um, so that's nice to, to take a walk down to. There's a couple trails that you can go down to the Snohomish River on uh, and spend a day on, so that's pretty cool. And then to the west side, on the north side of Everett here, you've got the Everett Naval Station. So if you know somebody that's stationed here or you're moving over here for that, for that reason, that's where the Naval Station is right there. And then just outside of that, you've got Anthony's Home Port, which is a great seafood restaurant. If you were looking for uh, some seafood to eat over here in Everett, uh, Anthony's is probably going to be either your top option or in your top two or three uh, spots for seafood here in the Everett area. So as we start to move further south, we get right into the downtown uh, Everett area right in here. Colby Avenue, Rucker Avenue, and Broadway, kind of your main streets that are running through there. You've got Funko, so if you are uh, somebody that loves uh, Funko and all that offers, that's uh, always busy. Whenever I drive that by there, I feel like there's always a line wrapped around the building. Um, as you go further south, we've got uh, fields here. We've got uh, Aqua Sox, where the uh, minor league baseball team plays, and then you've got a soccer football field as well. I played soccer there myself in, in high school, um, so catch a game there if that's something that interests you. We can go further down south here. We're just going right along I-5. So that's the nice thing about Everett is it is a straight shot from Seattle, just right up and down I-5. Uh, and it'll bring you right to and from Everett. Just to the west side of Everett, we have what's called Mukilteo. So Mukilteo is its own city in and of itself, um, but it's so close, you, there's you know different things that Mukilteo offers that you might wanna take advantage of if you're living in Everett. Um, mainly, you've got the, the Mukilteo waterfront, uh, Mukilteo Beach here. So there's a ferry that goes over to Woodby Island if you wanna jump on the ferry. And then uh, down here at Mukilteo Beach, uh, I've spent a lot of time here as a kid hanging out right there on the beach. There's an Ivers fish bar, a couple of the restaurants down there. You can see the big parking lot right here. Um, and then right in here, you've got the beach. You've got a sand volleyball court. So if you're into volleyball, over here, you've got a bunch of uh, picnic shelters with barbecues and things like that. So you can throw a birthday party, fire up the grill, um, and, and have a good time on a weekend or just a sunny day there. The, another thing about uh, Everett that you'll find is there's dog parks everywhere. Parks in general, dog parks as well. Um, so if you've got a dog or you just, you've just you got kids you want to bring to the park, um, that's definitely something that uh, to consider. So as we zoom out here, I'm going to go a little bit further south and you see Payne Field right here. So we've got uh, both Boeing. So if you're moving over here for Boeing for a job, uh, this is kind of where you're going to be. And then we've got Payne Field. So uh, this has recently been opened up for commercial flights. So uh, it gives you an alternative option than to flying out of SeaTac Airport, which is way down south and can be a pain to get to from Everett. Now there isn't nearly as many flights going in and out of Payne Field right now as it's uh, relatively new. So they keep adding flights as the years go on. I, I'm assuming they'll just keep adding more and it'll start to build up and, and be more of a, a, an option for flying in and out of this greater Seattle area but that's something to consider with planes going back and forth and uh, convenient access if, uh, if you're going to some areas, flying to some areas that they are flying in and out of right now. So just to the east side of Payne Field here, we have Everett Mall right along 99 and I-5. Now, when it comes to a mall, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty pathetic. It's definitely not, uh, not super busy all the time. Um, there's definitely a lot better malls in the area, but if you need something quick, you want to go to like Burlington Coat Factory. There's a TJ Maxx around here. Uh, there's uh, Rue 21. There's a few different stores, not, not a lot, but a few different options. You can go to the, the uh, Everett Mall right there. You've got a Walmart really close as well across the street from the mall, and then you've got a Target down the road, Chipotle, Panera, all that kind of stuff. And then on the other side of the freeway, you've got Winco Foods. It's a big grocery store if you're not familiar with that, kind of on the cheaper end for grocery stores. And then you've got Costco right next to it. So you gotta have Costco. Uh, we go there all the time. This is the Costco we visit. So uh, 
good spot to be for sure. So as we're moving on into the south side of Everett here, a lot of residential neighborhoods in here. So like I said, on the north side, there's a lot of really old craftsman homes. In here, you're gonna find a wide mix of different things. You'll find 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, single level, multifamily, or sorry, multi-level homes. Uh, you'll find some new construction going on. Uh, so this is another great area to be as you get into Mill Creek here. Mill Creek is, is another city. So the border of uh, Everett and Mill Creek is right in here. And then you can, you know, Seattle Hill Road will take you out to uh, Snohomish area and the farm fields. Um, so this, there's a lot of great neighborhoods wound back in here. So different options for you to consider uh, if you're looking to buy a home uh, in the Everett area. All right, so that's a general walkthrough of the city of Everett, Everett, Washington. So if you're moving over here, hopefully that gives you a good idea of kind of some different landmarks and what you might might expect coming to this area. Now, like I said, when you're moving over here, real estate is something that you're gonna have to consider. Whether you're renting or buying, you gotta figure out where you're gonna live. So Everett has a lot uh, to offer. There's, like I said, there's condo complexes, there's multifamilies, there's townhomes, uh, there's plenty of single family homes from, you know, 1920s and 30s and 40s craftsmen to 60s and 70s and 80s uh, ramblers, single level homes and multi-level homes and some neighborhoods with uh, new construction homes and waterfront homes. So there's a wide variety of different types of real estate available here. But this is the general overview of Everett in general. It's got some decent pockets. It's got some great pockets. It's got some not so good pockets that, you know, around the downtown area that maybe have some homelessness and drug use that you might not uh, want to live right next to. So uh, different things to consider. But you, if you have more questions on the city of Everett and what it's like living around here, feel free to let me know. Like I said, you can contact here me here at my info on the screen. You can call, text, or shoot me an email. I'd be more than happy to answer any of the questions that you have. Feel free to also shoot any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you there too. And if you've got any topics on future videos that you want covered, uh, feel free to let me know. I'm making videos all about moving to the greater Seattle area. So any of the other surrounding cities that you want some information on, feel free to let me know and I'd be more than happy to share that with you. But I thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.